everybody so welcome back to the channel <coughs> excuse me um welcome back to the channel it's just me today i've had a rough day y'all so please excuse any imperfections that you will see because i can promise you i can promise you you're going to see some imperfections in this video because it's been a rough day but I have my laptop right here. I'm going to keep it short. I just wanted to go over my first and second trimester um, update. I'm way out of my first trimester. In fact, I'm not too far being finished with my second trimester. But I still wanted to just do my symptoms and what I went through. And just let you guys know about my journey so far. I have the laptop here because I took notes because I want to be precise. I don't want to be all over the place. And um, we'll hop right into it. So, <clears throat> I found out I was pregnant on um, the day after Thanksgiving. So, honestly, I don't know what date that is. Um, but I know it's at the end of November. Um, I'm sorry if I keep looking outside. I'm like sitting right in front of my window. So, I'm trying not to be that nosy neighbor. Um, let me close this door right here. These people probably think I'm a creep. Um, anywho, oh, did that make it darker? It did, so we'll just have to leave that open and I'll just have to look creepy. Okay, um, <clears throat> so, um, back to what I was saying. Yeah, I found out the day after Thanksgiving, it is now, um, May 1st. So, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm 26 weeks and four days, so... The symptoms I first had, um, even before I knew for sure I was pregnant, out of breath. Um, I was out of breath doing, going up two stairs, okay? I was out of breath. Um, <clears throat> I just couldn't catch my breath. Everything just completely made me just so short of breath. Um, another symptom I had, and I just want you guys to know, I didn't have the regular symptoms that you would, every pregnant person talks about having, like, oh, morning sickness and, you know, the, you know, the normal, the cravings. I didn't have that. I had the most random weird symptoms ever. Um, I had a lot of mucus. Oh my gosh. And I still do sometimes. That's why I cough like... <clears throat> you'll hear me coughing because I'm trying to kind of clear my throat it's not because I'm sick it's because I have mucus um I had a lot of mucus in my nose and my throat which made me feel nauseous because like having to blow your nose all the time and feeling this extra mucus constantly made me feel sick to my stomach I did vomit two times this whole pregnancy both because of brushing my teeth triggered it um in the morning I was very mucusy that mixed with trying to brush your teeth feeling nauseous just wasn't fun my eyes were irritated um my eyes were red they were itchy um just very uncomfortable and I didn't realize that was a pregnancy symptom and yes it is so who would have thought um I was queasy at night so most people talk about feeling queasy in the morning or vomiting in the morning. No, at night is when it came full force for me, okay? I felt just completely blah. I didn't want to eat dinner. I just wanted to eat a bowl of cereal. I didn't want the smell of meat, the smell of burgers, steak, even chicken. <sighs> Gross me out, okay? I wanted to... So... My husband is a big meat eater. He loves steak, burgers, all that stuff. So it was to the point where I told him, you cannot cook it in the house because it is literally, sorry, I got a notification. It is literally fumigating the whole house. My nose is sensitive. I can even smell it upstairs with the door closed. I can smell it. So until this day, I can eat more meat than I did at the beginning of my pregnancy. But um, still, when my husband cooks it, it still bothers me. Like last night, he cooked burgers and it bothered me a lot because it just completely fumigated the house and I'm just not with the smell of it. I don't, I don't like it. Um, thankfully, the queasiness is gone at night. Um, I don't feel queasy at all really unless I eat too much, um, but that's something. I'll be going back and forth between first and second kind of comparing 
so it's not just a clear cut I'm talking about my first right now I'll let you know when I'm going back and forth but like right now um I don't get queasy but I do get uh full very quickly and if I overeat like if I don't stop when I know I'm full I will get nauseous so I have to eat smaller portions but I eat more frequently like I get hungry probably every hour and a half but I can't eat that much like I can't eat what I used to eat like I have endless leftovers which Edward loves because he'll eat them um as far as the things that I was craving were basically I felt like I was five years old again like the things that my grandma used to make me when I was a little kid is everything that I wanted I wanted fried bologna sandwiches I just loved fried bologna sandwiches in my first trimester, which I hadn't had in years. Years, like 10 years. Um, cheese pizza, even now, second trimester. Pizza, that's what I'm eating for dinner. I can eat pizza any day of the week. My appetite is extremely finicky right now. I don't know what I want to eat from day to day, meal to meal. I cannot tell you at breakfast what I'll be able to eat at dinner time. I can't tell you. Literally, I could be on the phone with somebody and they could be like, yeah, I just had some mozzarella sticks and my taste buds at that moment need mozzarella sticks. Like, it's very random. That's how I know what I get to eat for the day. It's terrible. It's really terrible. Um, but pizza, I can still tear down pizza. That's what I'm having for dinner. That's what I had last night for dinner. My husband is tired of pizza. He's sick of pizza. But my son... Is loving the pizza I am though at first I could only eat cheese pizza right now I do try to get supreme pizza so at least it has vegetables on it has the olives it has you know things that you would consider healthy um, on it grilled cheese I would like grilled cheese sandwiches apple juice I was drinking a lot of milk and I did like turkey and cheese sandwiches which I tried not to eat too much of it because I know like especially in your first trimester the deli meats is a no-go excuse me i shouldn't be having you shouldn't be having a lot of deli meat due to this bacteria that's possibly in it if you do eat deli meat <coughs> excuse me um they want it to be warm like hot to kill that possible bacteria but i didn't want warm deli sandwiches i wanted a cold turkey and cheese sandwich so that's what i wanted um and this is the last thing i'll say about my first trimester um fatigue that was my number one symptom i was exhausted and it wasn't the normal exhausted like oh i'm tired no i couldn't do anything i had to fight to get through the work day and i mean fight with all my strength to make it through the work day and if you watched my uh video about being a full-time pregnant working while pregnant and you saw the field that I'm in and the type of stuff I have to do, you can only imagine how hard it was for me to do doctor's appointments and home visits and housing assessments and shopping with clients and like to be active and, and being so tired. Like I literally went to work looking like anything. Like I would roll out of bed and go to work because I had no energy to do anything. Um, I literally had to come straight from work and go right into my bed that was my routine every day and i became really depressed um about that because hey, I'm home. hi i'm recording um i became really um depressed with that because i was so used to coming home and cooking dinner for me and edward i was used to maybe cleaning up wanting to go for a walk like even though it was the winter time and you can't really go for a walk like that I still would like to go to the grocery store do something but I couldn't I was literally a slave to my bed even on the weekends I would have to ask my mom to come up and help because I couldn't do anything I couldn't find the strength to do anything I would have to fight to get to church like it was hard for me and I became a little depressed I felt alone I felt sad I felt useless um but thank goodness my fatigue is not that bad um anymore i still get tired but i can still like have a pretty enjoyable life i can still go for a walk i can still like i just have to know my limit basically 
<clears throat> so that's it for my first trimester. Let me look at my notes really quick on the second trimester. Like I said, I don't want the video to be too long. Constipation. <clears throat> now, with the things I talked about that I enjoyed eating, like cheese pizza, <clears throat> anything with cheese really, um, milk, a lot of dairy basically really backed me up, really backs me up still to this day. I'm, I was used to having a bowel movement daily. Now I have a bowel movement two to three times, three times if I'm lucky. Um, I had to take milk and magnesia twice so far. I really try not to, but when it gets really bad, I just take it and it helps. Also, like, kind of softens my stool. Um, and uh, I experienced round ligament pain. That was the worst time in my pregnancy. <clears throat> uh, it was very scary because I started experiencing cramping. And this was right at 20 weeks. So this was right at the 20 week mark. This will be the last thing I talk about so I can close this. It was right at the 20 week mark. I was experiencing cramping um, one day. It was just a little bit of cramping when I got home from work and I did some like exercises to try to loosen up my pelvis or whatever. But the next day it became worse and <laughs> Um, I reached out to my sister-in-law who is um, actually a, a doctor herself, uh, OBGYN at that. So, and she recently had a kid. I reached out to her to try to ask her like, you know, why would I be experiencing this pain in my pelvic area? You know, it feels like cramping, but then someone told me that it might be kicking because I called the emergency line at my doctor's office, but my doctor was out of town. So I felt like the lady that I talked to wasn't really too concerned. And she told me, oh, well, that's probably you finally feeling the baby kick. But I'm like, from what I was told, it would feel like a flutter. It's not supposed to feel this like this sharp. It just was like these sharp jolting pains in my pelvis and then it progressed to these cramps to the point that I couldn't even walk. Like when Edward got home from work, I couldn't walk. I was toppled over like this and I was like, I have to go to the hospital. I need to go to the ER because I don't know what's happening. And then the cramps, um, they kind of spread to my lower back. So I was like, oh my God, what if I'm going to labor? Like I was just freaking out. So we went to the ER, we were there literally all night long the doctors there scared me because she was like well we want to make sure your body's not trying to deliver right now and it was a terrible experience because they did this very rough pelvic exam um this hospital didn't even have a labor and delivery unit so i had to be taken by ambulance to a labor and delivery unit um at a different hospital who did the same exact thing. I was misdiagnosed of having this bacteria uh, infection, which wasn't true. It was just round ligament pain. And it took me a full set of eight days to recover from that. I missed work. Um, once again, my mom had to come up and help me. Uh, I don't remember if Edward took a day off. No, he didn't because he was just starting a new job. So my mom took off and came and helped me. But I was an excruciating pain for days it took me a while to be able to walk it set me back again basically literally I was just starting to feel like I was feeling good like I said I was 20 weeks I was getting around I was back to myself and then I felt I was completely set back all over again back in the bed and a lot of pain when I went to work I needed a heating pad and endless Tylenol it was just horrible it was really rough but that was about six weeks ago. Like I said, I'm 26 weeks and four days. So um, I have been doing a lot better. My son is very active. Um, he loves the right side of my stomach. He likes when I'm moving around. He doesn't like for me to sit down and relax. But I'm not going to make this video about him. This is about me. Sorry. Um, but um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing I feel like it was another thing I wanted to mention about my second trimester 
I can't think. I really can't think of it. So I'll just give you a bump date. And if um, you have any questions or you want to talk about how your first trimester, your second trimester went, please leave it down below. Your comments, questions, subscribe. The channel name was changed to vlog her. It's still a vlog channel with me and Edward, but you know, if you watch the channel update, you know where we're going with this. So let me show you Elo. We had a doctor's appointment today. He's doing great. This is my stomach. I can't show you my bare stomach because I'm wearing a dress. But this is me at 26 weeks and four days. The doctor said he's measuring great. He looks good. He sounds good. He kicked her while she was um, listening to his heartbeat. He gave her a nice strong kick. She was like, oh, I can feel you kicking from the outside now. So he's a mess, y'all. But I'll make a whole nother video about him. All right. Thanks again. See you guys soon. Bye.